Hello and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Tim and today we will be setting up a cache and only DNS server on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 and we will configure this server to use a folder as well. Now please note that these two objects are two objectives on the RACE exam. So if you're studying for the exam, I hope that this will help you greatly. I have the direction set up here, so let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is install the bind RPM package. Now I have my yum repository set up, so I'm going to type in yum install bind. Now if you don't have a repository set up, <coughs> you can uh, watch my previous video because I went into detail as to how to create your own local repository. Okay, installation is complete. That was pretty fast. That's good. Next thing we want to do is configure the etsy name.conf. That is the configuration file. So let's go there. dim etsy name.conf. Okay. Now this looks pretty cryptic. So we'll go we'll we'll, we'll go <laughs> through this slowly. Okay. So this line it says listen up port 53 to 127.0.0.1. Now this is basically saying that only the this system can query itself for uh, DNS resolution. We want to change this. We want to change this to any, <coughs> okay? So that it can use any IP address assigned to this local DNS server. Now the next line, allow query. It says that only the local host can query the server. So basically, this DNS server can only query itself right now for uh, domain name resolution. We're going to change this so that any system on my network can query this DNS server for domain name resolution. So what you do here is you type in the subnet of your uh, network. So mine is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. 24 is the CIDR portion. <coughs> so uh, basically, it's a class C address. The next thing you want to type in is folders. Okay. So basically, what you're saying, telling this DNS server to do, is take any DNS query sent to it and forward it to another DNS server. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, basically, if you have, a, uh, let's say, over 100 systems or many systems on your network, this is a good idea because this will, re will reduce the DNS traffic on your network. So my DNS server, that which I'm forming it to, is actually my router. And basically, um, pretty much all the routers now out on the market um, come with this feature, uh, a built-in DNS server. And so I'm just forwarding any requests to the to my router right now. Now this last portion is very important. That's because it says right here, DNS SEC validation. Yes. Now basically what it's saying is that my folder needs to have a digital certificate. It needs to be validated with a digital certificate saying that it is who it is or what it is. Unfortunately. Uh, my router doesn't have a digital certificate installed and I'm pretty sure most likely your your home router doesn't have a digital certificate installed as well so I want to put down here DNS validation no okay semicolon right quit <laughs> sorry right and quit got tongue tied for a second now we need to start the name service and do service I'm sorry let's clean this up service name start and it says started okay if I do service name status it shows you that uh, it's running with the process ID of 4289 so that's good so next thing we want to do is configure name to start at boot up so this is important in case the server reboots on accident or some patching it's good to configure this you want to make sure that your DNS server is running uh, when the system boots up. So we do chkconfig named on okay and then we to check it we do chkconfig list name and you see that run levels 3 to 5 it's running it's on so that's a good thing. 
next thing we want to do, actually the next two things we want to do is modify the firewall rules to allow DNS queries and modify the local DNS entry. Okay, let's do that. What I do is I type setup. Okay, type setup. And I go to firewall configuration. I do customize. And I click here, DNS. I want to open up the DNS ports for DNS. Uh, open up the, the firewall. I want, I'm sorry, once again. I want the DNS ports on the firewall to be opened up. There we go. That's how you say it. Click OK. We click Yes override the current configuration settings and the next thing we want to go to is go down to network configuration go to DNS configuration so right now you can tell it's going to 10.1 which is basically my router what I'm going to tell it to do is look to itself for DNS resolution first so I type 10.10 .10. I click OK I click save and quit I click quit and then, how do I know that the changes were made? Well, first of all, uh, I'll go to I type out type in this command more at resolve.com. Okay, it says that my name server is 10.10. .10. If I type ifconfig, it says that my IP address is 10.10. .10. So my system now is using itself for IP address resolution. Let me clear this up. And the last thing we want to do is test functionality with the dig command. Okay, let's do that. I'll type dig google.com and look what it says here. Server 192.168.10.10. .10. So it's working. It's looking to itself for DNS resolution. I'll type yahoo.com. I'm oh, sorry. I'll type dig <laughs> yahoo.com and it's going to itself for DNS resolution and these are the Yahoo name servers excellent okay now how do I know that this is working on another system so I have another workstation I'll have another server set up and to tell you that it's different I do ifconfig its IP address is 10.17 alright so what we're going to do now is change the DNS setting so that it points to the new DNS server. So right now it's still pointing to my home router slash DNS server. I want to make sure that it points to our new Red Hat DNS server. I type 10.10. .10. Okay, I'm sorry, save and quit. I quit. And just to verify once again, I do more Etsy resolve.conf. And look, it's pointing to the new name server. Okay. So let me do this again. I do dig google.com. And these these are the new servers for Google. These are the name servers for Google. And it's pointing to itself. Very good. Let's try another one. Let's do dig cnet.com. Okay. And it's pointing to right here. This is the these are the um, domain name servers for CNET. And it's pointing to my new DNS server. Okay, so it's working. And this concludes um, the demonstration. I thank you for your time. And if I just want to say that if you're studying for the RACE exam or RACSA exam, I wish you nothing but the very best. Thank you and take care.